Okay, so yeah, in response to that first question, um, what has my experience been with trauma at my school? Um, I am at Sioux Falls Christian right now, and as we learned from the module, um, it doesn't really matter um, what demographic you're in or um, whether you're white or a different um, ethnicity. Um, and so I definitely still see trauma situations at Sioux Falls Christian. Um, one of, I guess, the big ones in my class that we're experiencing right now is um, one of my little girls is um, her parents divorced. Uh, and the reason was because her dad has some pretty severe bipolar disorder. Um, so she's been around that and experienced that mental illness, um, and then also just the separation of her family. Um, and so, of course, that gets brought into school, too. Um, and then another one, I have a little boy who, um, his parents are uh, business owners of a very profitable um, business that's doing very well, um, and they travel all the time. They're gone very often um, and so he um, he's home alone um, and he's an only child um, and so he doesn't really have other siblings to bounce off of um, and when he comes to school we see a lot of that and his peer-to-peer -peer relationships um, he doesn't struggles to interact with peers um, and kind of withdraws in general at school. Um, doesn't is really it's really tough to get him to engage um, in a lesson. So that's another one. Um, not quite sure if that would be considered trauma, um, just because it's it's just uh, it's basically just neglect. Um, but his parents still love him, obviously, um, but, yeah, I did want to bring that, that one up as well. Um, anyways, uh, moving on to that second question, um, have you received any formal training, um, from my school? Um, I would have to say no. I, they haven't really talked about it, um, and even in, within my fourth grade team, when we meet up and collaborate, um, it's not something that we talk about really. Um, any of our professional development days, the teacher work days, um, that hasn't been the topic of conversation. Um, not to say that they haven't ever covered it, but just not while I've been there. Um, as far as my teacher specifically, um, we have talked about it. Um, we haven't necessarily used the words trauma or ACEs, but it definitely is something that we have um, discussed. Uh, especially in regards to those two students that I was just mentioning. Um, yeah, and then um, for number three, how did the module um, and the Sanford module uh, complement each other? Um, I think they did a really good job um, of complementing each other um, with the module that you had set up. Um, I think it was a good job of like providing that base. Um, so what is trauma? Defining it. Um, and then along with that, um, you know, talking about um, adverse childhood experiences and what those actually were, um, what constituted as an adverse childhood experience and what didn't. Um, and just giving a good base of understanding of what trauma was. Um, and then the Sanford module did a great job of uh, talking more about how, as teachers, we can implement things in the classroom um, to help make students who have experienced childhood um, trauma, um, to help them achieve at a high level, to um, help them heal, um, how to be compassionate, um, which is so important. Um, and so I really appreciated that that connection from a basis of what it is um, to application. Um, as far as question four, um, questions that I still have about trauma, um, I think I feel a lot better um, after this module, um, both modules, um, but I think there's still a lot of um, questions that I have 
um, just in ac actual implementation. Um, I think it's so tough because every kid is different and every situation is different. Um, and so I guess one question I have, especially after um, my last semester um, working in some schools like Hayward and Hawthorne um, with the fifth graders there, I saw a lot of trauma. Um, and I had several classes where probably more than half the class um, had experienced a childhood trauma of some sort. Um, and so I guess my question is how how do you implement um, classroom management and supports when there's that many in one single class? Um, I think the module talked a lot about like individual support, um, but I'd be curious to discuss a little bit more or talk more about um, whole group, whole group support. Um, and I think it did touch a little bit on um, creating those environments in your classroom, that environment um, of safety. Um, but I guess, yeah, just more information on whole group um, interventions and how to how to do that because it's it's so tough when you have lots of different students who all have different childhood trauma um, and need different supports. Um, and obviously some of them are going to be the same, but every child is different. Um, and a lot of the times those supports seem to be different as well. Um, and that's a lot for one single person to handle, so I guess I'm just curious about that. Okay, I'll wrap it up for now.